it's Nistarian. I sound terrible because I've been sick for a whole week, but finally feeling better today. Like, whew. Like after midday, I took a nice long hot shower and it's starting to open me up so you can kind of hear me a little bit. Hopefully this comes over clearly, right? So this video today is inspired by Duchess Charm. I saw her make a post on Facebook stories. So I decided to hop over to her channel and watch the full video, right? So I watched the He Did It Again video and I do remember if I had watched the first story time so I went back and rewatched that one too. And all I have to say is, like ladies, we need to be safe when we're dating, right? I decided that I was not going to start dating again until I had my car and I had my own modes of transportation. Because at first, I didn't like the fact that I had to be taking Uber and if anything happened, because I'm in the US, if anything happened, I got to sit and wait in an Uber to come get me or any of that stuff. Right? I decided that because I did that one time. The good thing is that um, the person was cool. I had them drop me home. Um, and it's an apartment, so you're dropping me off outside. You don't know where on this building I live. What you gonna do? Walk around the whole place trying to find my place, right? And we first met up at a safe way, kind of feel them out. They were my age as well, so they they seemed kind of cool, and we were all right. Obviously, I didn't really talk to that person much because um, we stopped talking. All right. Now, in her story, she went out with this guy. You can go check out her video and see really what happened. She went out with this guy, and this guy is trying to get her drunk. I mean, from your from that story, I could easily tell like this dude is just trying to get you drunk and to like sleep with you guys. Had you had your own modes of transportation, you could have just left, right? And two. I think pepper spray isn't easily available in Jamaica or if it is it's kind of pricey because I brought mine down there it's about this big and my cousin asked me to leave it with her because she's like the same pepper spray even though the one that's just a little bit bigger cost so much money I'm like all right here you go it's only ten dollars I'll just buy a new one ladies you need to have pepper spray I keep mine on my key Right? And before I even meet up with persons, I'm making sure that I'm messaging them. Um, you meet up with them somewhere like she did for bre um, well, it wasn't breakfast the first time, it was the second time she went back. I'm like, why would you even go back for a second date? But it's okay. Why, why, why would you go back? And the same thing happened again. This guy just kind of leaves her there and was trying to get her drunk again. And then it turns out that this guy, it is something that he does regularly. He gets women drunk, sleeps with them, oh like, oh it was great seeing you, and this just leaves them. The difference is that now he's married, and he's still meeting up with women, getting them drunk, and trying to sleep with them. Right? And it's kind of, it's, it is really obvious, every time people go out to meet him, it's the same scenario each and every time. He immediately pulls out vodka, and is like, drink, drink, try to offer you shots, get, try to get you drinks, before he even gets you food. Right? If a guy is gonna offer you drink, I kinda heard this from another YouTuber, like she's really big, she talks about these kind of stuff all the time. You're not supposed to be drinking with a guy until after you've had dinner. Even then, you should only have like one drink or anything and then after that you leave. Which is why I'm saying about the point again, if you have your own transport, this person is trying to pressure you to drink, leave. You're feeling uncomfortable. Don't feel like you need to stay there. You're not obligated to stay with this person, Jana, do anything. Never have to depend on this person to drop you home or do anything for you. Always, and what she did the first time, Duchess, when she went out to meet him, she went with a friend that was very good. But um, ladies, if you can, go with a friend. Um, have a friend come with you if anything. Have that friend drop you off, probably stay somewhere in the restaurant, kind of keeping an eye on you guys. So if he tries to drug you, like, have you not been seeing, I'm seeing it all over the internet with sex traffickers and people going missing. Like, have your own method of transportation. Have your pepper spray. Have a friend come with you. Like, you got to be safe. You have to be safe because it is so dangerous out there. I mean, in America here, women are getting guns. Like, everybody has guns. Like, 
I, I, I don't have one in my, but I, I got my pepper spray, okay? I have one on my key, and then I have another one um, that I kind of, if I feel like it, depending on what I'm doing, I'll have that one, like, on my clothes as well. That one you kind of can just hook on. But I don't put it where it can obviously be seen. I'll probably stuff it right here in my boobs, right? It's, like, easily accessible. If my keys are, like, for instance, if I just rested my keys down somewhere and even when I go out with people my keys are in my hand my pepper spray is not hidden and I'll even say to them like yeah I walk with pepper spray it can never be too safe right it's right where they can see like if you try something I will spray you if I feel unsafe I will leave ladies you need to be safe walk with your pepper spray Walk with a friend, have your own method of transportation. It's Miss Tarian signing out. See you next time. Bye.